all right and welcome if you are here it's probably because you are planning to visit real de Catose or you just visited real de Catose. so before we get going bon voyage no feliz voyage so real de Catose apparently it's a village in a state in Mexico called San Luis Potosi. San Luis Potosi. This town or this village back in the colonial day it was said to have been very prosperous with silver mining. But then you know post colonialism and everything, everything moved out and now it has remained a tourist attraction center. So as you just saw there, to access this town, it's between the mountain so you have to go through a tunnel which is about 15 minutes okay the tunnel is called um, Ogario Ogario tunnel voila you'll be in town so see it's a very nice place and uh, very nice people going around with their business as usual nobody 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 bothers everybody I'm telling you we had a lot of fun as if that is not enough, so now it's time for mountain rides. You get into these cars on top of cars and some people in the cars are like, man, where are we going? And it's a whole adrenaline rushing you down. See, this is some of the cars and that's my cousin and buddy over there. So now, see the rides and the, the valleys and the mountains, these rough roads. And one thing was going in my mind. What if the brakes fail? You know, I, if you could hear what I was saying there, for the few words I learned in Spanish, I was I was just saying my prayers. I'm like, I don't want to go down just because I came to the Catorce. So, well, the mountains are so beautiful, the desert so beautiful. We have the very, very entertaining tour guide. Look at the view. Oh my God, I just want to make you go back. So, this is all the views around. It's all the surrounding. And remember, some people have houses in there. Like, those are the people living their best life. They have houses in those mountains, in those valleys, you know, I just, you know, you just, uh, you just hope that you, know, you don't get uh, like a mudslide or something, so you just pray for them. So, well, here you see, now this is the most scariest. Like, it's a one way. There's no way you can't meet another car. The other side is a valley deep. So, somebody got to stop for one person to go through. But it's definitely, definitely something you want to check out. And then, as we continue touring with the nice group of people, I hope you guys can see the age like this car has taken the entire road and any sleep look at the bridge look at the bridge uh -huh. okay. Yeah, those are some of the residential homes in the village. The people live there in between the mountains. This, I think this place would be very hard to enter. Can you imagine if Ukraine was the one surrounded by these mountains? Just saying. It's just a thought. No, I didn't say anything. I just suggested that this whole village was Ukraine. It was surrounded by all these mountains. So here you can see. This. Yes. Mm. Mm. 
So the entire experience is just to enjoy nature and then you hop back onto this little car and you drive you all the way back. You know. What else? You know, not everybody can afford to go to Cancun. And oh, there you go, get back in the tunnel, ride as you can, and oh, you're out. 